To use airbags with full truckloads, load pallets tightly against the nose and the sidewalls of the trailer. Each successive pallet should be pushed securely against the previous pallet and the sidewalls. Contact between the pallets, the sidewalls, and the floor produce friction. The next step is choosing an airbag size that provides the maximum amount of coverage for your load. The greater the amount of coverage an airbag supplies, the better your load will be locked in and secured. To determine your correct airbag size, you will need to calculate your void space. The total void space equals the space between the trailer load plus the space between the ladings. A simple equation to remember is left void plus center void plus right void equals total void space. Void space should not exceed 12 inches for a 36 inch wide airbag or 16 inches for a 48 inch wide airbag. If void space exceeds the recommended size, reduce the void by using available dunnage, such as void fillers. Once an airbag size has been determined, set the air compressor to the compressor's recommended setting. Place the airbag in the void. Airbag should be at least one inch off the floor. Insert the airbag inflator in the valve and start inflating. Once the airbag has reached the desired pressure, stop inflating. Remove the inflator and attach the valve cap. For detailed instructions on how to use your specific inflator type, refer to your inflator instructions or return to the main menu and select the appropriate inflator training video. In case of working with double stacked pallet configurations, the airbag should cover the entire surface between the double stacked pallet loads. This prevents the pallets from moving to the front or rear of the trailer. In addition, an airbag must be installed in the last row between the last two pallets of product. The positioned airbag keeps bottom stacks locked in place and prevents the load from shifting to the rear of the trailer. Once the airbag is in position, verify that the load is secure. Alternately, void space can also be reduced by loading the last four pallets in a pinwheel configuration. When pallets are pinwheeled, an airbag should be installed between the last two pallets. This creates a bulkhead or retaining wall that prevents loads from shifting in transit. If you have any questions about the correct usage of airbags, please contact customer service at 800-468-1230 for domestic, international, 1-870-352. 5700.